Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna start uh, the month, the video right here. So uh, this is just a random shoe right here. Um, this is actually the shoe that Drake came out with. It's called the Nocta, and people say this shoe is ugly, but like honestly, like I don't see why people say this shoe is ugly. Like I would actually like uh, I would actually wear these, but that's not the point. Uh, the point of this video is I wanted to talk about money. Usually I would, you know, have something on my screen and I'd be like researching something, but I just kind of wanted to rant. So I'm going to um, actually just rant right now and I'm going to rant about money. So um, people always say that money is the root of all evil, but it really is not. Um, it really isn't. I just, and in fact, I would, I would go as far to say, I would go to far, I would go as far to say that money is actually loved by God. I think God loves people who have money. Like I would go that far. Um, I think God loves people who have, who have money. And I think God dislikes people who don't have money. Um, and the reason I say that is because one thing I know that God loves is intelligence and organization. Um, like cleanliness is like the closest thing to godliness. That's what people say. Um, and so it's all tied into each other. Cleanliness and organization and like financial literacy, like all that stuff is tied together. And I think uh People who possess those qualities really have God's favor. Um, but not even just that. Just in life, um, having money will literally make everything work for you. Um, I just sold a property um, that I've been actually living in um, for a couple of years. I, I sold the property and I actually made more money than I thought I would have. And I actually have, currently I have more money than I've ever had in my entire life. And um, it just, it immediately improves your mood. It makes you, it makes you a more likable person because you're just always happy. And if you're just walking around happy all the time, then like people will like respond favorably to you and then like it'll put you in the position to make more money like money is like it's like an exponential equation i think um as far as like making money the reason why so many people are broke is because the hardest part about money the entire game of having money is played but like between under a hundred thousand dollars that's what i would say all of all of your problems and all of your like like struggles in life is because you have less than a hundred thousand dollars if you get a hundred thousand dollars that will that money if as long as you don't blow it on some like you just go out and buy like a bmw or some stupid stuff like that as long as you actually invest that money into making more money you will never you can never go broke you can never go broke the reason why there's so many broke people is because they can't pass the there's a threshold they're like there's a real threshold and there's so many people who can't get past that threshold and i was one of those people i could not get past that threshold um my entire 20s i spent below that threshold and as a result i was just miserable my entire 20s um, I fell out with so many of my friends um, just from being miserable all the time and it's just insane like I've you know just for the couple of days that I've like I've been having this money like I just go out I buy whatever food I want and you know what another crazy thing is you'll eat healthier when you have money you'll eat healthier you think you would just eat whatever you want so you would get fat no, you're you're actually going to eat healthier and here's why. Because you're going to be eating higher quality food with more nutrients in it. And because of that, because you're getting your nutrients met, 
you won't need as much food. Like, I just immediately stopped craving carbs. It's so crazy. Like, I went to Chick-fil-A, and I was just like, can I just get a number four without the drink or the fries? Usually, I always get the number four with the drink and with the sweet tea and fries. I always, always, always get that. Today, I was just like, um, can I actually just get the chicken strips by themselves? And what's even crazier about that is because I was so nice and I was like joking with the person, they gave me free fries and a cookie, which I didn't eat. But the fact that like that just goes like to my point of like it just makes everything better. It just makes you a happier person. You can talk to girls like like you'll be glowing with happiness. So like it makes it easier to talk to girls. Like, you actually will just, like, be able to have, like, small talk with people. It boosts your confidence. It, you get better sleep. Like, it's just insane. And um, it's just a threshold thing. Once you make a certain amount of money, it's impossible to go broke. It's impossible to go broke. It's impossible to go broke. I got my smoothie here. You know what I mean? I don't even crave junk food. I, I just want to eat salads and drink smoothies. Just all of a sudden. <laughs> like, it's just so crazy. Like, it fixes everything. And um, the entire game of life, um, the whole quote-unquote rat race, that, that entire thing is just five figures. Once you hit six figures, you're done. You're done. You're done. I don't care. Unless you live in California, anywhere else in the country, you're done. It's over for you. Because you'll just have, like, look. You get $100,000 right now. Boom. Even if you, first of all, rent costs what? Like, maybe, like, $1,500, like, $2,000 if you get, like, a super nice place, right? As long as you have any job. Right? You can have any job. You will never run out of that money. Now, another thing is, oh, what if you have kids? Well, kids really aren't that expensive. Kids really aren't that expensive. Right? What's expensive is having, um, like, there's certain girls that you can date that are expensive. Right? People who complain about their kids... Uh, draining all their money it's really the girl that you're with spending so much money on unnecessary stuff for your kids that's really what it is um kids are not that expensive right uh, i'm gonna pull up a different thing here because i've been staring at this pair of shoes for too long kids are not that expensive um you know and like this stuff is expensive like designer but it's just like why would you even buy this stuff? And you know what's another interesting thing? Real rich, like real wealth, like does not look like this. People who really have money don't don't mess with stuff like this. Um, I was watching a video from uh, Brandon Carter, uh, big Brandon Carter, uh, King Keto. And he was talking about how um, most rich people, they don't grow their beard out. They're all clean shaven. If like billionaires are always clean shaven. And that got me thinking like billionaires really be moving different out here. And it's like crazy. Like once you really think like there's two games, there's a lower game and then there's a higher game. Um, so... There's, and the crazy thing is you can win the lower game and not realize that you're actually losing the higher game. So like, what's, in a good, what's a good example of this? So like, I would say this. The lower game, uh, let me get a different thing. The lower game is like, can you imagine spending $300 on a hoodie? Like, billionaires aren't doing that, right? First of all, you can make your own clothes, 
right? If you have enough money to buy this, you can make your own clothes. And then not even that, back to this lower game and higher game thing. So like billionaires don't get, they don't grow their beards out. Another thing that they don't do um, is they don't get tattoos. You, don't, you, you won't see billionaires with like tattoos on the body, right? If I go Mark Zuckerberg, no shirt, no, zero tattoos. This guy could buy your entire existence 10 times. He has no tattoos, none. He, he got, you know, he got a little bit of flab to him too. He has no tattoos, right? Jeff Bezos, no shirt, no tattoos. These dudes don't get tattoos. And it's like a lot of people will get tattoos to try to like appeal to women. But the thing is, women, you're winning, like when you get tattoos, you're winning at the lower game. So like, here's how to, I'm gonna I'm tell you exactly how to win at the lower game. You get tattoos, you get designer clothes, and you get a Hellcat. That's how you win the lower game, right? There's a lower game. You basically look like a rich convict. That's how you win the lower game. But then there's a higher game. The game that these guys are playing, right? How do you win this game? Well, the way you win this game is you stay completely clean shaven. You go you go vegan, right? You don't get tattoos. You get 12 hours of sleep every single night, right? And, you know, you network. You network with, with you know, with smart people. You surround yourself with smart people. You go out and buy a Tesla and you surround yourself with smart people. You know, or a Prius. There's two different games being played. And you can choose who you want to align yourself with. Do you want to align yourself to win the lower game? Or do you want to align yourself to win the higher game? If you even, if you come in 10th place in the higher game, you immediately win the lower game. God loves people who have money. And once you get a certain amount of it, um... It's just, it's so easy. And like, there was this billionaire recently who tried to prove a point by, he he was he was trying to see if he could make a million dollars um, from no money. Cause he wanted to like prove a point of like how easy it is to make money. And he failed, <laughs> like he failed. Um, and the reason he failed is because he was disconnected with how hard it was to make money these like from the lower level it's the whole like making if you have a million dollars making 10 million dollars that literally just comes up to if you want to or not if you have a million dollars your net worth is a million dollars and you say i want to make 10 million dollars that's just that's on you if that's what you want to do you can immediately do that it's just a step-by-step -step process to doing that, if you please, right? Or you could just, you know, live with a million dollars. If you have a million dollars and you have any type of income, you'll never spend it all, right? So, look at this. You could you could you could pay sixteen thousand dollars for one pair of pants. Sixteen thousand dollars. This is how you win the lower game is you spend $16,000 on a pair of pants. Um, but yeah, um, the whole entire game is 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 played between $0 and $100,000. Once you get $100,000, you're done with life. You're done with life. You're done with life. Now, how do you get $100,000? That's That's hard. Getting a hundred thousand dollars is really hard. Making a a million dollars is easier. Every time you go up from there, it's actually easier. Um.
if I was to be completely broke today and you were to ask me to make a hundred thousand dollars after from being completely broke, I don't know what like I don't know what you would do. Right? I don't know what you would do. And it's just like Half of you people who have money got lucky. You got lucky. There's so many people. I live. I, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. There's so many people who I I've met who like they're just so unlucky. And it's and it's like they just they're just stuck in this in this un like this bad luck. And and that's another thing. Your environment really matters. Um. Fifteen hundred on a shirt. You could make this, but yeah, your environment really matters. Um, if you're in a bad environment, it will be impossible for you to make money. Detroit, Michigan, is one of those places where it's nearly impossible for you to make money. Why? Because Detroit, Michigan, is tribal. It's very tribal. People, a lot of people from here will say this is the problem with Detroit or that's the problem with Detroit. But as someone who's lived here for 20 plus years, the the problem is it's tribal. So everyone has their own tribes and their own little cohorts. And then there's a, there's many places like that, but Detroit has the has the the quality of being a crabs in the barrel environment. So People in Detroit are hyper focused on what each other are doing and they don't want each other to be doing better than them. People in Detroit will hyper focus on what you're doing, but they don't want you to do better than them. It's the most toxic environment you could ever you could you cannot make it here. You cannot make it here. Anyone who will make it here will make it anywhere. If you if you meet a rich person from Detroit, you should be very afraid because that is a shark. That is a predator. That person will eat you alive because this place you're not supposed you it's you can't make it here. You just can't. People do not want to see you do better than them, but they will also hyper focus on you. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of people in Detroit who are great people who, you know, are suffering. And it's just because they're in that, they're in that vortex. It's not a vortex, but like, it's just like the crabs in the barrel, like they're, 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 they can't get to the surface. They're trying to tread water, but they're literally underneath the surface and they just can't get to the surface. They can just break that surface and they'd be out of it. They can't break it, you know? And then you got unhealthy food. The food's not healthy. So then you can't think straight because you're, you know, you're fat. And then, like, they pump it with hormones and chemicals. And now you're, you're self-conscious because your body looks crazy. And you, you look feminine while you're a man. And you look manly while you're a woman. And it's just, it's so impossible to break out of that. And... Uh, man, one thing that you should not do is um, look down on other people because it is so hard to break out of that. And I'm so grateful um, to have been fortunate enough to have finally broken out of that. But I got a fight tomorrow, so I'm going to end the video right there. Um, I just wanted to get on here and rant about money uh, real quick. Um, it's the most important thing. It, it, they say money is the root of all evil. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But one thing is for sure, it's the most important thing. It's the most important thing. In today's day and age, money is the most important thing. If you're not focused on making money, you are wasting your time.